It's been a year since I played Soul and Destroy. Life in Seattle is good. I've gotten over my brother's death to Soul Seeker thanks to the fact that we got vengeance on him. I still play video games with Hunter, John, and Ricky. We mostly play COD. My own YouTube channel took off to a humble subscriber count of 25,000. Ben would be so proud. I was combing through my messages one night and I saw something odd. It, it was a message from someone named Soul Scavenger. It was a short message, it read. You and your friends never told anyone what happened a year ago, but I know. You didn't bear the pain of losing an older brother. You passed it on to me. Be on Discord and join this server and talk to me at 11.45 tonight. I was freaking out. Who was this person? He had a name similar to Soul Seeker and he apparently knew what we did last year. What was the part about passing on the pain of losing an older brother all about? I decided not to tell my friends about this and see for myself. It could have been a fluke or a bad troll by one of my friends. At 11.45 I joined the Discord server and I see that a chat had been set up. It was just set up for two people to join and the person by the name Soul Scavenger was there. I joined the Discord chat. This turned my world upside down. Soul Scavenger told me that he's the little brother to Soul Seeker, and, and just like how Soul Seeker killed my older brother, I killed his. He told me his brother taught him everything he knew about coding, and he actually saved the previous world that we played on. What he told me next, I, I couldn't believe. He told me that his brother, and my brother, they were still alive. Sure, their bodies had been long buried, but their consciousness, their mental being, that was still in the game. He told me he only had enough memory and line of code to bring back just one of them, and he felt that a challenge was in order. Just like his brother, this soul scavenger, he was obsessed with the DNA of Whoever was superior, like Darwinism, he, he wanted the strongest to survive. He told me, in principle, this game was the same. Some of the rules were different. For starters, there wasn't going to be multiple teams of four with only one life. It was going to be a 1v1, and we each got three lives. I was told not to tell anyone. There could be no one to get in our way this time, he told me. No one to save me or him to do something that would alter fate in any way. He tells me he hopes I'm ready and before I could even say, for what, I'm being scanned like an item, encoded into the game. Welcome to Soul and Destroy. Rules this time are different. We each have three lives. After each kill, the person who gets it will change to another weapon, one less powerful, as to be fair to one another. There are no soul streaks as that takes no skill. The only soul streak you shall receive will be the soul key. Upon winning the game, use it to free your brother from there. I look around me and sure enough to my left was a cage. It had been inside. To the right was Soul Seeker. Down below each of them, however, was a vortex. Almost like a recycling bin for your computer. Only this one deleted souls. Let the games begin. <laughs>